All right, shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to our power, our God, Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rock Kakudash, double honor to our teachers, the head of Apostle Elder GMS, Great Millstone. And shalom to you, brothers out there on the highways and byways, Matt, to find the name of the Lord through this ministry. And uh, shalom to you, other brothers and your sisters out there that believe on the gospel. And today I just want to get into uh, this article from New York Post. And it reads, flesh eating, flesh eating STD that causes beefy red sores is spread in UK. And I right, and um continue down where it says um uh don of this is what it's called a sexually transmitted disease that causes that causes genital ulcers has been spreading through the United Kingdom. It says once red flesh eating tra sexually transmitted disease that causes beefy rare ulcer is spread across the UK according to a report Friday. Cases of Donna Donna venosis, which causes thick sores that damage genital tissue, have been steadily growing in the region since 2016. And cases are expected to rise according to data experts cited by Birmingham Live. It says figures suggest that of Anosis, which was previously thought to be restricted to places including India, Brazil, and New Guinea, is becoming more common on these shores, Dr. Dada of My Healthcare Clinic in London told the outlet. Health officials reported 30 cases of STD in the UK since 2019, but more infections in the last two years could pose a public health risk, she warned. The STD is generally transmitted through unprotected sex but in rare cases it can be spread through non-sexual skin on skin contact and to newborn babies through their moms symptoms like uh, symptoms include bulging red bumps damaged skin and loss of genital tissue color the std is more common in parts of india india pupal that's what it's, how you pronounce it. it says new guinea central australia and the caribbean and southern africa According to the Centers for Center, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, learn to own treatment, blah blah blah. So this was going on, and um, this was as prophesied. It's a uh, different diseases, you know, is going to be coming out, and it's only going to rise in these days to come. Okay, he said, you know, the evil is going to increase. Okay, let me get that real quick. Evils increase. Sick Edges 14 and 16 says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You know, in that time that we're about to go into is uh, the days of perilous times, all right? Uh, Jacob's trouble. Okay, but was foretold to happen in these latter days. But uh, the Lord is about to cause more diseases to come out and these uh, these near days that we're about to go into but this is all of the Lord that's happening you know why these things are happening uh, it's STD so this is Job 5 and 18 for he maketh sore and bindeth up he woundeth and his hands maketh whole who is this he is talking about this is talking about the most high through his son Yahweh Shai the creator of the heavens and the earth he didn't, you know, to him belong the issues with death. Everything comes from him, you know. He said, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, man. You know, he he makes medicines or herbs and things to heal you. And, you know, he can call the demons to jump off you, which brings sickness. Okay. And all of these things uh, will happen to the wicked, all right, because of disobedience. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Because I got this because a lot of Jake is over there, you know, catching these diseases too. Because um you know, our people is the highest <laughs> in that in that disease stuff, man. Because our people refuse to return uh to the heavenly father. Okay? And um a lot of Israelites in um in the UK and different parts of the world that they mentioned where this disease was common at. But let's go to Deuteronomy twenty eight and verse uh Uh, let me jump down here to verse 60, not verse 59. 
slide 58. <laughs> it says, if you will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear his, this glorious and fearful name, the most higher power, then how by Shemal shall will make your plagues wonderful and the plagues of your seed, even the even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt, even uh, these of diseases of Egypt, which you was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. So that's what's happening uh, to our people. And plus, you know, the Lord is uh, putting these putting these curses upon the heathen now, man. You know, you know what I mean, been doing it though, but it's like you. So it says. Verse 60, moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt, which you was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. You see that? That's this, uh, let me see what it's called again. Uh, not Nineveh. What is it's like, let me try to find it. Donna, Donna Venosis. Donna Venosis, Donna Venosis. So this is wasn't just one of the diseases that wasn't mentioned in the scriptures. So the Most High is bringing this plague, all right, uh, upon certain people. And it's only gonna get worse. Okay, it's gonna be new uh, so-called diseases that come out in these upcoming days. It says, uh, which is not written in the book of this law. Then will the Most High bring upon you until you be destroyed. Okay, let's get the book of Isaiah three and eleven. It says, Woe unto the wicked! It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. You know, because he that do his wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, man. There's no respect of person with how about Shemel Shah. So, you, you do that wicked shit, you know, and you don't repent. You know, Esau and them, them heathen, they can't repent. But I'm talking about, you know, specifically, specifically speaking about Jake. The Lord's going to give you the uh, the works, uh, give you the reward for the works of your hands, man. He's going to pay you for all the wickedness that you've done. All right, and this life or the next but everybody is basically here to receive their judgment in these uh in the for the last days you know in time uh perilous times <laughs> that's about to come you know it's it's for all these people man they came back in the reincarnation but uh, the sinners shall not go unpunished man they're not going to escape from the lord's hands all right the ones that forsake him you know so uh let's get the definition for that word ill it's uh, Strong's H uh, 7451. It says Ra, which means uh, adversity, affliction, bad calamity, displeasure, you know, distress, evil, uh, grief, you know, hurt. What else? Uh, let me go to the. So it says sore. Trouble, mischief, uh, evil, displeasing, evil, displeasing, um, hurtful. I said that again. Uh, distress, misery, injury, calamity. All right, distress, injury. So all these things are gonna happen to the people in these latter days, man. You know, by way of the plagues, which will, uh, which one of them will come in the form of a disease or diseases. Plural, because that's what you have a shot. Uh, said what, what would happen in these latter days, all right. He said, uh, there will be a uh, pestilence, you know, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places, you know, wars or rumors of war. So, hey man, expect it to get worse, but this is, you know, thought I should make a, a quick lesson about it, but <laughs> this, this is what the Lord is doing, the Lord is working, man. He definitely is worth, okay? And, uh, yeah, this is crazy, though. Flesh eating, beefy red, sore disease. Get ready for all that to come over here, all right? In Babylon, the great aka America. So that's all I got for today. Lord willing, this is edifying. Until next time, shalom.